In this video, I'm going to talk about all the permanent welfare upgrades that we're going to get during Staltifera Nevis. I'll begin off with the Annihilation Skip Ticket. This ticket has been extremely hyped across the community. It allows you to skip the ability of playing Annihilation and immediately finger snap get the orandoms that you want. How it works is that you're going to need to have a set auto deploy within your account. This means that you need to clear an Annihilation without any support unit. As long as you have a prepared auto deploy, you'll be given the option to skip using the skip ticket and you will not even need to play through the stage at all. It will immediately jump to the end screen and give you the randoms that you deserve. Now, if you're worried that your strategy is unstable, you might have a strategy that often breaks whenever you do your auto deploy. Now, with the skip ticket, it will not count any errors. Since it immediately jumps to the end screen, no matter the errors that you might be facing as you play the stage, you will still get all the randoms that you want. That's one of the greatest beauty of the skip ticket. And secondly, if let's say you can't clear all 400 enemies, you only have a auto deploy for 350 enemies, the annihilation skip ticket will still skip all the way to 350 enemies, give you the amount of randoms that you deserve, and also refund the relative amount of sanity. Now, when using the skip ticket towards the end of your random limits, if you happen to use the skip ticket, it will stop the annihilation at the point where your random gets capped. Then, all the excess amount of sanity that you might have been spending, they'll refund it to you on the last time that you're playing the annihilation. So this is why the ticket is also wonderful to use. Now that you understand how to use it, I hope that you're excited for it to come. As mentioned, the annihilation skip ticket is a new reward that you can find in the daily missions. And there are also other rewards that comes together with this. The daily missions will now give you even more EXP and LMD, which is a great boost to your everyday login experience. And the weekly missions will also give you more LMD and EXP as well, which is something that I'm very grateful that Hypergrave thought of doing. But what's even crazier than these rewards is that the sanity packs are getting an insane improvement. What I mean by that is that the 100 sanity pack that you guys are all familiar with, the ones that we get from weekly missions or sometimes from login events, all these sanity values, the sanity value of a 100 sanity pack is going to jump up to a 120 sanity pack. So both free-to-play players and pay-to-play players, you get to rejoice. If you happen to have any login events in the future that gives lots of sanity packs, they will all be worth 120 sanity this time. But even crazier for those of you who have been paying a little bit of money into the game, if you're a monthly card buyer, the value of the monthly card has increased by so much with this addition. The 60 sanity pack is also upgraded to an 80 sanity pack. This is going to be applied to every sanity pack from the 3rd of November 2022. With a jump of 20 sanity per pack, this makes the monthly card so much more worth, especially when the price of a monthly card is not increased. It's going to remain at its 5 USD price while giving you 30 times of the 80 sanity pack. This was something that I've been waiting for for such a long time and I'm glad it's finally arrived into the global server. With the greater amount of sanity that you're getting, there are also two great new stages for you to use your sanity at. These two stages are C6 and LS6. Great improvements to their predecessors, C5 and LS5. Now you can enjoy getting more LMD and EXP with a greater sanity efficiency. Of course, your base is still going to be the best producers of this currency since it doesn't use any sanity, but you can still rely on these two stages if you happen to need some emergency top-ups. Those are all the major quality of life updates that we get to see during Staltifera Nevis. There is a minor quality of life change that is the addition of two new backgrounds that you get to set in your home screen. The teams of the backgrounds are Who is Real and Under Tides, playing their respective lobby BGMs if you were to set them. With that, those are all the quality of life features that you get to see during Staltifera Nevis. In the coming event that is Lingering Echoes that will happen in the month of December, that event will have even more welfare features being added with things like an easier visibility of Paradox Simulation, a better leveling up system, and also the module upgrade system. But I shall save all of those for when that event drops. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I shall see you in the ones to come. Do subscribe to the channel and see you then. Bye bye.